Hey y'all, we're Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping. Today, we're gonna to take you on a tour of a Keystone Passport 268BH. We need to say thank you to Keystone RV Company because we are filming this in their studio and we uh, just need to say thanks for them for letting us do that. All right, so our first impressions on this Keystone product is? For me, it's- um, You took over. Light and bright. I think it's very, the colors in here are really light, so it seems really bright, which I really like. Mine is, it's like the first time I've seen one that looked modernized. Like there's not regular handles and stuff on there. It's- It looks kind of like Ikea. Ikea. That's what it reminds me of. The cabinets and the hardware remind me of Ikea. Very sleek and modern. You're right. So we're going to start on the outside of the Keystone Passport 268BH. Just want to point out a few of the features that, that are out here before we step inside. Um, this unit does have an awning that stretches almost the entire length of the rig. There is an awning light and it is attached where the camper and the awning meet instead of on the outside, which I really like because then whether you're using the awning or not, you still have light. It does feature a large pass-through storage area up front. It has the magnetic latch to hold it up. Power jet tongue jack. You're going to have your standard, your water connections here, um, your key TV, so your cable and satellite inputs here. And then this is going to be where you control the um, stabilizer jacks right here. Hot water heater. One big slide on the side. Your power cord's gonna plug in on the side to the very back. Spare tire out here. And then this door takes you in side. Um, this is some extra storage. This is actually under the bottom bunk and then this folds up. I'll show you more about that when we get inside. You have the ladder on the back for roof access. And then you have an outside kitchen area here again. It's got the latch to hold it up. You have a small fridge, a storage shelf, and then this is a pull-out two-burner cooktop. Your heat exhaust is gonna be here, your outside receptacles, and if you wanna hook a TV up here outside, this is where your connectors are gonna be for that. Come on in. So, what do you think of this sofa? Because typically, in um, RVs that have the dinette and the sofa, it's a two-seater sofa. So we could put, because I can even take this little bumper out. We could sit three people here, TV's right across from us. How cool is that? Dinette's still there. What you're doing with this sofa is accessing the kind of wasted space between the dinette and the sofa. So if you needed to, Put the dinette, you just move these cushions over, and this flips over. And then you have the dinette. When well, nobody's sitting at the dinette and you need more sofa space, you just slide it back. Also, something cool about this rig, this sofa folds out into a full-size bed. And the dinette also, just like typical dinettes, is convertible, and it folds into a bed as well. Um, you have two bunks back here. They do have the corners cut off, which eh, I don't know how I feel about that, but they're really wide. So actually a typical bunk, bunk would stop back here. So you are getting the extra space. So I guess that's cool. This bunk folds up and there's a door to outside back there. So you have this, I'm just holding it, it would latch up, but you have this area for storage, which I think would be great for bicycles or chairs or whatever you've got. The bathroom is right here by the bunk room. It has a shower. It does have a bit of a lip going into the shower. So maybe for a baby, you could even pull off a bath um, down there, a small child, the toilet, and then the sink and medicine cabinet on the wall. Medicine cabinet's a big deal. And there is a bit of storage underneath the sink. 
something that Jimmy commented on was the new interior colors. So I, these cabinets make me think of Ikea with the pretty much flush handles, but there's tons of storage guys. So these four cabinets alone have all this storage. This one you'll notice the curtain rod or I guess closet rod. And then these shelves, these top two would come out. So you could use that to hang clothes or you could use it as your pantry or you know whatever you want to use it for. Um, standard fridge and freezer, camper size. And camper stove. Um, the stove does have the glass top that folds over it, so when you're not using it for a stove, you do have that space that you can use. I use mine to sit my crock pot on. Um, you have the microwave, the vent hood, stove, huge drawer under the stove. Pots and pans would be great in there. Um, you have a cabinet over here beside that. And two drawers. Something else that I thought was neat is this cabinet in front of the sink. This cabinet is also accessible over here. So things you needed both inside or outside, maybe even the trash can would be good there. And then on the back side, there's three drawers over here. And if it's seeming like maybe you don't have enough counter space, there's also this extra little flip up. You can put up when you need it and fold it down when you don't. That's always a plus. Your TV is going to be up here. Um, it is directly across from the sofa, which is a big thing that I hear people talk about is that the TV is at a weird angle and people have to sit with their heads turned. So that's nice that they thought about it up there. And then the front bedroom. Um, a lot of times people aren't happy because the door to the bedroom is really narrow and you have to shimmy around the bed. This, they've made this big open doorway so you can still get easily around the bed. Closets on either side. And then the lift up cabinets up here with a little bit more storage. And on that side, there is a drawer under that um, nightstand, but plenty of room here that if you had a CPAP or alarm clock or whatever, and there's receptacles and um, USB ports on both sides of the bed. There's also storage under the bed. And on the wall on the side is the bracket if you want to mount a TV and the cable connections up top. So now after we did this tour on here, final, final thoughts. thoughts. My final thoughts was for the size of it, it's pretty big. Um, it's wide open in the front where the bedroom is and the bunks. I'm still not a fan of that type of bunk, but the corner cut the off, corner cut off so but yeah. they're really wide. So you still have a lot of room in the bunks. And with that bottom one that folds up, you get the extra storage. So like bicycles, I, that was my first thought bikes would fit in there. Um, and the convertible, I don't know if that's the right word, couch. sofa slash dinette, I think is a neat feature. Um, so all in all, I think for this size, if you had, you know, a couple kids, small kids, maybe even young teenagers, I think this is a pretty cool floor plan. And I really like the new colors that they've got this year. So comment below. Tell us what you think about this layout of this Keystone Passport. Passport. 268BH. <laughs> Forgot where we were. Um, you know, it, do you prefer a bunkhouse? Do you have kids? Or do you like something that's more like a rear living? Just let us know what you think. What, what did you, you think, think about the convertible couch? This is something different we haven't seen in another yeah. camper. So Took me a minute to figure it out, but we got it. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again for Keystone allowing us to come out here and film another video in their production facility. facility that's it's pretty, pretty nice, cool studio. Pretty neat little studio here. So make sure you guys give us those thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. And until the next time you guys find us camping. Safe travels, y'all.